I still remember the first time I got schooled by a big fish. Or at least what seemed big at the time. A fired up, maybe 16 inch rainbow. He took my fly and then he took off like a rocket. My tenkara rod straightened out, my line tightened, and my knot failed. Nowadays, I've caught many fish that size, and some much larger. A lot of it comes down to practice and being comfortable fighting fish that size. Knowing how to keep a bend in the rod and knowing when to use side pressure to steer the fish. And alongside that, a lot of it just comes down to using the right tool for the job. And for genuinely big fish, the right tool for the job is the thickest, longest rod you're willing to use. Today, that rod is the rod Zilla. This beast of a rod by Wasatch Tenkara is 17 and a half feet long and weighs half a pound. It's a lot. And I'm going to need every bit of that today for these large carp. With no drag to save me, how will I fare? Let's find out. Fish on. <laughs> Oh, he's mad. Oh, yeah. We're using good si side pressure here. <clears throat> nice and muddy on this bank. I can't really head out into the open water very easily. So I need to keep my feet planted here on shore. So I'm not just going to raise the rod tip high and let him run straight. I'm going to move it left and right and really try to control this fight. There's a ton of carp around. I uh, was going for actually a different one that was kind of hung up in all these uh, branches, which is really hard to target them because the fly just does not go where I want it to go. Uh, so I was kind of casting out, bringing that fly in. I was a foot or two off the uh, off where the branches, the submerged branches start and uh, Felt a nice solid thump and this big bruiser, he's on. <laughs> I think this is gonna be the start of an epic carp fishing day. Oh, there we go. Woo wee. <laughs> epic fight, big carp. Oh, this is great. Check out this gorgeous fish. That's a full net right there. Okay, we've got a few in front of us here. Here's one tailed in towards shore. We're gonna cast ahead, bring it into the Field of view. That's pretty much always the game plan. Oh, oh he's pissed. <laughs> God dang, yes. So good. So much fun. Today I'm fishing with a, a new rod to me. This is the Wasatch Tenkara uh, Rodzilla. It's their biggest Tenkara rod and honestly probably the biggest Tenkara rod I've ever seen. It's a double zoom, goes from 16 feet out to 17 feet. Um, it's a beast, weighs about seven ounces, thick butt here. Um, 
really strong backbone. It sings when you got a carp on. Feels really fun, really lively tip up towards the top. So it, it can kind of take the head shakes and give where it needs to, but just this absolutely solid back end to uh, lean into. Awesome rod, <laughs> having a ton of fun. Ooh, that was so cool. I just popped it right in front of him and I saw him, uh, I saw his tail kind of kind of flick and he dashed over, felt that pop, felt that bite, set the hook and man, he just, he took off, took off. Strong fish. Tenkara rods can present flies so stealthy. You know, I just cast over him, kept that line off the water, no floating line above his head. I mean, I'm fishing in four or five inches of water there, so I feel like a, you know, a floating line, even with a perfect cast, would be uh, would be prone to spook a carp in that position. So, just a super effective rod, super effective uh, fishing for carp on Tenkara. Absolutely beautiful little fish, a little smaller than my last one, but he sure fought well. <laughs> He's ready to go. <sighs> so cool. Two, three over here I see, one right here. Uh, I see some brush moving out a little further, maybe 30 feet out, so there's another one rooting around the base there. This is gonna be a challenge if we hook into one, just because of all these branches. But uh, we're going for it. Close combat in the snags here. Oh boy, I really want this fish to get out of these sticks. <laughs> I snuck up to him and just dabbed, dabbed that fly right in front of him. I didn't feel a tick or anything, but he must have just subtly hit that. I felt some resistance, set the hook, and here we go. We're out of the sticks, this is great. It's a little muddy out here, kind of sketchy. This is a very nice fish here. Very nice fish. guy's an absolute monster. Real big head on him, about uh, 26, 27 inches. Very cool. We're making our way away from all these sticks and stuff. <laughs> I really, I really don't enjoy fishing among all this debris, but um, there's so many fish, I just like, you know, obviously, I have to make some casts for them. <laughs> and it's paying off too, you know, we've caught some. So we're kind of making our way though to uh, a much more open uh, mixture of mud and sand, almost like some flats. Um, really, really cool scenario to fish for carp in. And I have caught large numbers of fish there before. So hopefully they're uh, cooperating over there just as much as they are in this little nasty inlet here because um, man if they are I, I'm in for a treat
Oh my God. <laughs> Large, aggressive fish here on the flats in Colorado. I feel like I'm in the freaking Bahamas right now. <laughs> Incredible. Sight casting to these big, beautiful, powerful game fish. Just awesome. Oh my gosh. He chased down that fly so hard. <laughs> I took it away from him. Let him catch up for a second, popped it away. Man, it's like it's like I'm it's like I'm fishing for redfish. I mean this is just whew, man, my hype level is it's high right now. <laughs> this is awesome. This guy, that was a powerful run this guy took right off the bat. Feisty, feisty fish. Oh my goodness. Yes. Good Lord. This is just, it's too much fun. It's too much fun. Truly an epic battle on this Wasatch Tenkara rod, the Rodzilla, biggest, beefiest Tenkara rod I've seen. <laughs> it's just perfect for these carp. And these are nice size carp too. These are not, not little baby carp by any means. It's still, it's still a sporting challenge too. I mean, you really, you gotta move with the fish, side pressure, you gotta fight them smart. It's not just a uh, massive broomstick. It doesn't make it easy by any means. A lot of strategy. There we go. Colorful little guy. <laughs> well, he's not little. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Yes. Well, there we have it. Not a bad fish, huh? Man, he fought hard. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> there he goes. Whew. Man, <laughs> that was a battle to remember. <laughs> Fantastic. The wind and the clouds uh, making it making it hard. Conditions are changing rapidly here. I'm not really able to see the fish anymore. Although now I say that I got I got one right in front of me here. Okay, I like this cast. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Nothing better, nothing better. <clears throat> oh boy, making some real powerful runs. We're gonna get him though, <laughs> he's ours. Trying to kind of back up a bit here as we go, stay away from the fresh, fresh schools that I haven't uh, targeted yet. Love the sound this rod makes under load. <laughs> it sounds beautiful. People love the sound of drag, right? When a fish is peeling off, especially. So, you know, something like a carp, for example, but uh, the singing of this rod, uh, <laughs> I prefer it. And it certainly feels a lot more wild when you're holding this rod, no drag to protect you. It's just you and the fish. Oh man. That, it's just a high that uh, it's hard to achieve anywhere else. Sight fishing, 
big fish, cool spot. Pretty fish. <laughs> that feels good. Oh yeah. That's a net filler for sure. Beautiful colors on this guy. Stunning fish. Love that tail. Look at that. How cool. Beautiful scales. I love these fish. Carp are uh, truly one of my favorites. He goes in search of golden bonefish. <laughs> Just having the time of my life out here. It's supposed to uh, thunderstorm here in a in a couple hours or so. Um, so that might kind of put an end to our fishing day today. But until that happens, I am out here and uh, I'm trying to get some more. Okay, I think I see one out here. 20 feet in front of me. That cast was within the vicinity. I can't see them super well though. They're they're biting, you know, actually kind of subtle almost. Um, kind of testing testing the fly, and I've actually had a lot of success actually kind of kind of making the fly uh, try to escape them. It kind of triggers triggers a more powerful bite. But if I can't see them perfectly, it's kind of hard to know exactly what they're doing. I can't tell much more than the fact that there is a carp. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm making casts towards these shadows and uh, I'm hoping to feel, feel something, anything that makes me want to set that hook. Solid fish here. Might be the best one of the day. He's big and he's putting up a fight. Oh my goodness. Goodness, my arm is downright tired, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> These fish have got a lot of fight in them. What a fight. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, how about that? Look at that big old tail on this fish. What a beautiful carp. He put up an epic fight, 25, 26 inches. 
and uh, so heavy, just a chunk. Love it. Like clockwork, those Colorado storms rolled on in. The skies blackened and the familiar rumble of thunder echoed over the plains. As I retreat back to my car, I think about how well this rod performed. I am not a Western fly rod versus Tenkara guy. I really don't care what gear you use, fish what you enjoy. But I am telling you, fighting these large fish on a fixed line Tenkara rod is truly something to behold. It is the most addicting feeling. I urge everyone to try to get out there and target some big fish, be it carp or some other species. But remember, you really want to use a rod that's made for big fish. If you'd like to see me target carp in a beautiful river setting, click the video above. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.